Today's review, based on a screening that I attended. Yeah, it's happening now. We're attending screenings, mama. You know how we've had Die Hard, which is about a guy saving his family in a building. Then we have Air Force One, which is about a president saving his people in a plane. And then we have Delta Force, which is about a soldier saving his people, which are basically all Die Hards that I've just mentioned. Like Die Hard on the plane, Die Hard on the, in the White House, Die Hard on the plane with snakes, Die Hard on the prisoner's plane. You know the jokes. We finally had Die Hard in a house. Today we'll be talking about Breaking In, starring Gabriel Union, directed by James Matik. Matik. I can't even say this name. James Matik. If you know James Matik, you know he did one of the coolest cult classic films of all time, V for Vendetta, a movie that I love more than anything. Look, fine, the writers were the Wachowskis, but he was still the director, so he managed to pull it off. It's a matter of being at the wrong place at the wrong time, like I just said, die hard. Finding yourself at the mercy of certain thugs who want to tear your family apart or whatever. When you do these kind of films, Make sure that you are sure of your story, that you believe in your story and you invest in it. As opposed to you taking the story and then saying, I don't need to do this, I don't need to do this. The audience will get it. Where I was watching the movie, a lot of people were applauding in some of the parts because we were watching. It's as if the screenwriters knew because it is a black woman fighting for her family. They don't need to add on this and Put in detail this, put in detail this. They would like, you know what? The audience knows these kind of struggles, so the audience will relate to it and they will try to link it with whatever they've been through or whatever story they've heard and they will connect with these characters automatically. Like, I don't want to say lazy screenwriting because that seems to be a joke format these days, but I'm, I'm just going to say that like the screenwriters didn't spend so many time, um, so much time making sure that the characters were watching we care about them. They assume that we care about them because of who they are, because of the character in relation to who we are. I'll sit down and say, I've seen one, I've seen them all. Like, if I watch a movie, I'm escaping from reality. The minute you expect me to use my reality to connect with someone on screen, it becomes a problem. Most of the time, what was happening in that film, like whenever things were happening, I just sit there like, okay, wow, okay. Oh, wow, he's dead. Oh, wow, he's gonna die too, isn't he? Oh wow, oh look, she's gonna die. There was no moments where I was like, oh my god, what is happening to her? Oh shit, shit, is she okay? That's my only, okay, not my only problem with the movie. I have a lot of problems with the movie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't hate the movie. And I don't like the movie. And as in, that's a bad thing. If you've, I don't know if you've watched, I don't know how many times you've watched this show, but like, you know that like, it's either, I love a movie and it makes me happy or a movie is so bad that it makes me laugh throughout at how bad it is and I'll keep watching it because it is so bad but this one is more like okay it's over I got nothing from it and if someone asks me about it I'll tell them but like if someone would ask do you want to watch it again I think like what's the catch is it a date um, are we gonna go somewhere else after this or is something else gonna happen after this <laughs> It's forgettable. That's all I can say about it. So I don't know how forgettable how to put that. This is not the one. This ain't it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, don't we'll spend money on it. If you have money to blow, go out. Uh, <laughs> comment, um, comment, like, unlike. Um, you know what it goes. Let's have a discussion. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you hated it. Tell me if you like my thoughts on it. Tell me if you hate, if you hate my thoughts of it. You know, I don't know. You could be a huge. What's his name? Dwayne Wade fan, and you love Gabriel Union by default, and you hate that I'm talking shit about her. That's cool. <laughs>